Hi everyone, it's me, Kind. Welcome back to the channel. Today's Halloween tutorial is a twist on... Okay, well, I, I don't know how much of a twist it is, but it's this sexy Glamazon cat. A very unoriginal Halloween costume, I know, but I'm gonna show you how to be the most sexy. Okay, maybe most sexy is a bit of a stretch. Maybe most extra cat at your Halloween party. So if you want to see how to get this fierce cat makeup look, just keep on watching. To start off, we are going to glue down our brows with Prose-Aid Adhesive, smearing it in and brushing it through with a rat tail comb, and this is just so that we have a flat, skin-like surface to draw on our new drag brows. And lately I've been using a comb for this as opposed to like a spoolie since Prose-Aid is quite hard to take off and a plastic comb is like much easier to clean and reuse. I just use a toothbrush and soap and warm water to clean it, but a spoolie that has SFX adhesives in it is going to be a lot harder to clean. You're probably just going to want to throw it out, and this comb was only like 50 50 cents at Sally's anyway. So after the brows are dry, I powder them with a powder puff to really lock in the dryness and get rid of any moisture that's there. And then I use a full coverage foundation all over the face. This is Krylon's TV paint stick. It's great for performers and actors on stage because it's very thick. But for a very severe makeup look like this with such dark eyes, you're going to want a full coverage foundation or else you'll just look like a mess. I mean, natural skin only really looks good if you have the eyes are also natural. However, the trick to using full coverage foundation is that you have to balance it with contours and highlights. The foundation is going to hide all of the dimensions and redness and the different colors in your skin. So you're going to want to add it back in so that you look normal and like not like a cake face. I also do my brow highlight in the same step since I like to do that using cream and I do all the cream makeups at once in the same step. And I highlight my brow bone very sharp because it sets the template for how I'm going to draw in the brows later on. And now that the creams are done, I set the face with any powder as long as it's either translucent or matches your skin's highlight color. In any case, you still want to use a colored dark powder to reinforce your powder contour. Cream contouring can only get you so far. You have to use a powder contour if you want that severe look. I mean, maybe severe is a bit of an intimidating word to use. I don't think it's that severe, let's be honest. But it's a little more dramatic than your everyday Sunday church makeup. Now for the eyes, I'm starting off with a light brown transitional color. Makeup Geek's creme brulee is kind of my go-to. And the eyes today are going to be quite simple. We're going for a brown crease and a smoky black winged liner. So start by defining that eye socket. And after you use that light brown, you're going to go in with a darker brown. I'm kind of guilty of using eye socket and crease interchangeably in my videos since for me my natural eye socket is my crease for most of my looks but if you have a different eye shape you might not have as deep of an eye socket as I do in which case just make your own crease people can draw things that look 3d on a two-dimensional piece of paper so who's to say you can't do that on your face I don't know maybe I'll do a video on that sometime in the future since I have a lot of Asian friends but right now nobody in my life is willing to look as crazy as I do anyway next we're applying our winged eyeliner and I'm doing it quite long today if you tend to do a subtle wing I recommend going a bit longer I mean it is a cat look so we want to elongate the eyes as much as possible so I also extend the liner in towards the tear duct. I never was able to do this before but I think the trick is just to be really subtle with it. It looks like I'm extending it far past the end of the eye but it's actually just a small line like almost just a dot so don't draw it too long. And I'll talk more about this later but before that I'm taking black eyeshadow and I'm smoking out the edge of my eyeliner on a small brush kind of like just where it meets the crease. And the reason why I do this is because we want the edge of the liner to smoke into the brown eyeshadow in the crease. So stipple black on there and then use a medium sized blending brush that has some brown eyeshadow on it and stipple it on top of the black that you just applied to really diffuse it. And then you're gonna start distributing it towards the inside of the crease. That way we have this crisp dramatic eyeliner that in the center just diffuses into this mocha colored rainbow. It's a bit more complicated than just doing your average cat eye winged eyeliner. But I mean, it's all in the details, isn't it? Now I'm going to work on the lower lash line. And I'm using my liquid liner again, and I'm creating a line that's about half a centimeter away from the inner wing we just created. And I'm almost making it parallel to that wing, but then I'm going to have it hug the lower lash line like you see me doing here. And the reason why we do this, as well as the inner corner of the winged eyeliner, is because we want to create the boundaries for where the white eyeliner is going to be. And the white eyeliner on the inner corner is a classic trick to make it appear as though the eyes are just larger. When you put white eyeliner all along the bottom of the eyes, it enlarges the eyes vertically, making them more round and baby-like. 
But when we just add white into the inner part like you see me doing here, the eyes get enlarged horizontally and more almond-like, which is what we want for this cat look. But before doing the white, I do the darkness. So I smudge on my black eyeliner and blend it and smoke it down so that it matches the intensity of the upper lid. And then finally, I add in the white eyeliner. And I'm using Ben Nice Clown White. And the reason I add the white after the black is because I'm using a cream color. If I laid this down first and then just blended out black after, the black might accidentally smudge into the white. So for maximum crispness and sharpness, we add it in the end. That way there's no chance you're gonna screw it up since it's the top layer and not the bottom layer. I'll finish up the eyes later, but now I'm filling in the brows. First, I reinforce the white on the brow bone because it helps to exaggerate the arch and the angle of the brows. And then, using a brown eyeshadow, I just follow the white highlight I made earlier. Then here, I added blush at a horrible angle, but what can you really do in this world? For the cat nose and whiskers, I decided to use a black liquid lipstick. This is probably more accessible to people than face paint, so that's why I chose this. But if you don't have black lipstick, you can also use eyeliner. In the past, I used to use a black gel liner on my lips when I couldn't afford black lipstick. But what I'm doing here in order to get some details is that I smudge the applicator onto like a flat surface and I dip my brush into that. And then with that, I'm creating my cat nose. It's kind of like two little humps on your nostrils. And then I take a light all the way down to my mouth like a cat does, at which point I just switch to the lip applicator and then paint my lips. Next, I take a tiny paintbrush that looks like this. You could have also used black liquid liner on a brush or felt tip, and then I dot on little whisker spots on my upper mustache area, and also I create some whisker hairs going out from my nose. I remember when I was like 12 or 13, I don't know if any of you remember this, but like on Tumblr, people would do this thing called Catter Day every Saturday, and people would like post pictures of cats. Some of us would draw like whiskers on ourselves and post pictures as if we were cats. Obviously, that includes me. God, I think I burned all those pictures, hopefully. But I mean, it goes to show I was kind of born for this look. I added these yellow eye contacts from Pinky Paradise, and then I'm adding black eyeliner to the outer waterline where we didn't add white, just because I didn't do this before because I forgot. And then finally, I'm adding mascara and false lashes. And that, ladies, is the finished look. Here it is with the hair and the Louboutin nails. The cat ears I actually made myself. I'll link a useful tutorial down in the description. I didn't make my own since I made these like many months ago. But let me know your thoughts down below in the comments. If you're not subscribed to this channel, be sure to do so right away. And give this video a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!